Chosen ones, where you are, 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 chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great. How to win the heart of somebody or how to make someone love you or how you can even love someone. All right. Great. We all know that love is one of the greatest thing in this life. Love is the greatest force in this life. And love is a beautiful thing. All right. When you are genuinely loved by somebody, it gives you strength. And when you love somebody for real, it takes courage to love somebody deeply. And when two people, two souls fall in love, deeply connected to each other, it becomes very beautiful and so great. All right? Great. And such people, nothing can stop them or limit them in life because two forces coming together, becoming one. Right? Great. Now, to win the heart of your significant person, it is simple. All right? Or for your for somebody to win your heart, it is simple. And that is what I'll be demonstrating in this video, right? When you look at the cards that I have here, it just look like the shape of the ear, right? Great, your ears, right? Great. Now, the doorway to winning the heart of someone, someone, okay, or somebody is by giving the person a listening ear give the person a listening ear when you give someone a listening ear all right you are winning their hearts or they are winning your heart in whichever way right great so it takes two people who love each other to listen to each other and when you listen to each other, you are winning the heart of the person, right? Great. So listening, giving someone your time, your attention, it's a way of love. And it's not just sitting down because there are people that are going to sit down. You'll be talking to them. They'll be uh, fumbling with their phone. They'll be playing with their phone. They'll be doing something. It's rather unfortunate we are living in a generation whereby... You see people for a long time, you meet them, you want to talk with them, you want to have a chat with them, and they will be talking with their phone, they will be pressing their phone, they will be on social media and other stuff, right? The best way to win the heart of someone is to give them a listening ear, right? When you listen to them, you have to listen to them with both ears, with both ears, all right? And that is how you win their love, that is how you win their heart. Now, these two cards that I have here are the shape of their ear, right? Great. That's how they look like. Now, why am I saying to win the heart of someone, you need to listen to them, give them both ears, right? Because when you put the two ears together, it forms the shape of the heart. Look at it. So beautiful. It formed the shape of what? Of the heart. Okay? Great. So, to win the heart of someone, you have to give them both ears. And that is how you win their love. That is how you give them your love as well. Alright? Listening. Giving them attention. Giving them your time. Alright? is a way of, you know, winning their heart. And that is... That is the gateway to winning someone's heart, to winning someone's love. People love people who listen to them, who give them listening ears, who give them time and attention, not just time and attention, but they listen to them. They, and their problems matter to them. They, 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 they understand them. All right? They try to put themselves in their shoe. That is 
the people that everybody wants to mingle with, to associate with. Yes, because everybody wants to feel important. I'm telling you, everybody wants to feel important. No matter who the person is, they want to be loved. And the way to love someone is to listen to them. Let their issue matter to you. When they are telling you something, listen to them. Even at home, our children, those who don't listen to us, we don't really love them. We don't really um, see them as respectful children, right? But those that listen to us, you know, are those that win our love, our hearts, all right? And always our heart is with them. That is the same way in relationship. And this also goes to God, the love of God. Yes, the love of God is by listening. All right, it's by listening. If 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 you want to win God's heart or wants to have God's heart, it is by hearing, listening. Scripture says faith comes by hearing over and over again the word of God. Yes, so the people that listen to the word of God repeated repeatedly attentively all right are the people that have the love of god if you have the love if you have love for someone you will listen to them and that is how faith grows you see faith grows by hearing over and over again the word of god so if you love god you must give god your time if you love god you must give god your attention if you love god you must be willing to listen by hearing the word of God, by giving time, spending time in the word of God. And that is how your faith will grow. And that is the same way with winning the heart of somebody. That is how you draw closer to God and God is also going to draw more closer to you like never before. And you are going to hear God and your heart is going to be the home of God. God will make your heart your home because his words are right in your heart, in your spirit. Heart means spirit. All right? So that is how you win the love of God, the love of people. Right? Listen to them. Listen to them. If people don't want to listen to you, you don't want to go to them. That is it. All right? So love is a beautiful thing. And if we love people, we must give them our time, our attention as well. But make sure the people that you're giving them your time and attention, they are people that deserve it. Yes, it's not everybody that deserves your time and attention. Make sure the love that you are giving is not just going to, I mean, something it's not just like a water that you pour in on stone that it will never hold. All right. Let wisdom guide you as well. All right. Great. So that is the best way. Listening to someone. Giving someone your attention by opening up your ears to listen to their challenges, to their problem, to what they are going through. Today we don't listen to our partners. When they are talking, we are thinking of how to answer them instead of listening. We don't listen. People don't listen. People are thinking of how to answer. Yes, that is the problem. That is the problem today. We don't listen. When somebody is saying something, is asking you a question or telling you it's a story, you're thinking of what to say. All right? You're not really listening to the person so we are quick in responding we are quick in judging instead of listening to understand the situation the problem what they are trying to tell us what they are trying to say what they are trying to communicate with us that's it all right listen to understand don't listen to reply 
Yes. Listen to understand. Don't listen to judge or to just reply. Listen to understand what the person is saying. There are people that will be watching this video right now. They will not listen. They will not pay attention. Just by the title, they just write a comment and they leave. They're going to judge. They don't listen. They, they, they don't watch. But they want to, I mean, pass on some judgments or some, you know. It is not right. The right thing is to listen. Listen and understand before you reply. Don't listen with the intention of quickly responding. Take your time. Sometimes what a person, someone will be saying, it takes you to relax, to breathe in deeply, to, I mean, decode their message very well before you can reply. All right? And that's it. That is how you win the hearts and the love of someone. All right? Great. And you see, we must also be guided all right in what we say a wise man once said if you want to speak let your words pass through the five gates okay the five gates are you know ask yourself is it true think is an acronym okay so the t ask yourself is it true the h ask yourself is it helpful the i is it inspiring the N, is it necessary or needful? And the K, is it kind? All right, great. So when you pass your words, you filter your words through these five gates. If they don't pass, you know, you hold it, you don't say it. If it's not gonna be kind, don't say it. If it's not true, don't say it. If it's not gonna be helpful, don't say it. If it's not going to be inspiring, necessary, don't say it. But if it's going to be, go ahead and say it. All right? It doesn't mean um, all the five gates has to be true. If one is okay, go ahead. If it's true, I mean, the truth must, must be spoken. If it's going to be helpful, say it. If it's going to be inspiring, say it. If it's going to be necessary, say it. Or needful, say it. If it's going to be kind, say it. All right? This is how we will live in love with each other or one another. It is by listening and it is by filtering our words before we say it. People love kind people. People love to be with inspiring people. People love to be with people who uh, seek for the truth. All right? And that's it. So let the problem of others matter to you. If you really love somebody, listen to them. Give them the necessary time, the necessary attention. And that is how you win their love. Right? Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace. Love, 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 love. Beautiful.